Ah, good morning, good morning, good morning. Welcome to Nance Couldn't Craft Corner. Kathleen, if you're out there, I'm on. I saw you on, that's why I came on. I was waiting for about 12 o'clock. And one of the reasons I couldn't go on earlier is this lovely asparagus right here has to be soaked. Can you hear me? This has to be soaked for two hours uh, with um, this, what do you want to call it? Thick salt there. Give me one second. I just wanted to get my app together here. Bye now. You need a coarse salt. That's what I want to say. Coarse salt. Are you there? Before I continue on, I just want to tell you, I'm going to start at the beginning. If anybody watches this, this has to be soaked in a one third cup. Well, I have a double batch here, okay? But it's normally 30 asparagus. Um, and you, ha you have to put a third cup salt and then fill it and let it soak. Fill it up to the top with water and soak for two hours. So that's what I had to do. And that's why I couldn't come on right away. Um, Cause it has to soak cold water, one third cup per 30 asparagus. And I have a double batch here going in because I don't want to do canning and I don't do more than I should have did a triple batch, but because I left the asparagus in too long to do, I picked the best of the asparagus and the other one is not as good to can. So I'm leaving that for supper. That's what I'm going to say. But, but what happens is the salt takes the moisture out of the, anytime you do that when it soaks for two hours and that kind of salt, that coarse salt, it takes the moisture out of the stuff. So it kind of, you'll have a kind of a crispy taste when you can things. That's, if all goes well, um, some things are soaked way longer in salt. And then you're gonna end up, I gotta do the brine. So I'm gonna show you how to do the brine, which goes over the jars. Right now, I have the, I cleared out the little jars. I'm gonna use a smaller jar, I'm gonna show you. Today, this is big on a um, pint, but I like this jar for asparagus because I don't want to use as much. So this is a tiny one. Hi, Mike. This is a tiny jar I use, just a little one, because I then I don't open as much and I uh, and it lasts longer, and I don't want to do as much of a batch because it's just too too big for when you're three people. But I would like I do at least a double batch or more. So uh, right now. I might need more jars, but right now I'm boiling the jars right now in water. I've scrubbed the jars uh, really good with soap and water, rinse them out, put the, them in a pan. And right now I'm going to show you, I'll turn the camera over here, my thing. And right now they're boiling on my stove right there. They're boiling, but they've been clean. So has these seals. And they're, they're all clean, but I'm going to boil them in in the last minute. I want to do this a little differently today to show you even more detail what I kind of do. Um, shut my cupboard door. This is where my treats are and the pants are. Hi. All right. Hey, good, night. good morning, anyway, you guys. Let's put you back over here. So, like I said, two hours soaking double batch, so I put uh, two thirds cups, but if it was a single batch of 30 asparagus, it would only be one third cup, fill it to the water, let it sit for over two hours, at least two hours. Um, now I'm ready to go, this stage is good. I'm gonna actually take this and rinse it off to get it ready for the jars. And that's the next step, I'm gonna pack the jars in. I still have to get my seal out of the fridge. And I try to make this, speed this up a little bit faster because I got a lot of things pre-measured. There's my dip, Delf, fresh Delf. So right now I'm going to rinse this asparagus out to start. And I got to cool the jars off a bit because this is extremely cold and I got to cool them off. So what I'm going to do next, and you're going to see me right now. Let's see, where's the calendar here to make sure you can see what I'm doing here. Here's that. Right here. Oh, you'll see me. I'm going right here. And I, I'm going to pull the jars out and let them cool off just a bit because this is cold. Then I'm going to rinse this off. All right. Now, if people put this in the dishwasher. That's not my preference, but I think to each his own. If you like it in the dishwasher, go for it. But I have had no problems when I actually boil it and get sterilized the jars this way. That's why I do it.
Thanks, guys, for the company. I appreciate this. All right, so I have a spot right here to put them, and I just want to cool them off a bit because that's really hot. I just, in case, I don't want my jars to crack putting something really cold in it. So I'll cool these down. Now I might need more jars, but I, I've managed to fit, actually got a couple more to go in here. Uh, and I'm going to can as many as I can out in front of you, and the rest are going to be done offline because I don't know if I have enough jars. But it's supposedly, when I did it and I wrote notes for myself, it did seven of this size jar, a single batch. So technically I need 14 jars, and I don't have 14 little jars. But... All right, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's one batch. And I really don't have enough for the second, so I will finish it probably. Well, it depends on if we're having a good chat here. I'll get some more jars boiled. But um, I only have a few extra. Right now I'm going to boil some more. I got three more extra. I might have to make a big batch in a bigger jar. Which that's what I'm thinking I got to do. I got to find a little jar. Okay, anyways, so I'll leave that for after. So I got the jars. I got to wait for a couple minutes. I am going to take this stuff, strain it, and rinse it off. You're going to hear the top for a minute. And I'll bring it back. Because it is extremely salty right now, and you want to rinse it all off the salt. So, a colander, and I'm going to rinse. I'm just not going to pull the camera over here because I'm near water, so. I prefer not to put my computer in water. Yeah, um, what a, what a dishwasher. I don't know. You know what, Kathleen? I actually had one when the kids were growing up. This is my, oh my gosh, second, third dishwasher. But this one uh, broke and I did never fix it because I don't use it enough. So... And it's supposedly you save money, but I'm not sure about that. When you're when it's only two people or three people at the most, <laughs> this one is a big box of chairs. So yeah, that's it. All right, I'm really rinsing this good because it's been sitting in salt. All right. Oh, great. I had one use it for storage. <laughs> yeah, I, guess I should actually use it for storage. It's a good idea. I, mine's just sitting at the counter. I don't know if I'd ever want another one. I really, I don't care. I don't miss it. So, and I'm okay with washing dishes. I know that it's probably better sterilized than hand washing dishes, but yeah, I hear you. I didn't replace it because, like I said, I wasn't using it enough. So it's sitting there under the counter, just not working right. All right, there it is. Hey. Oh, th okay, no problem. Love to see it. I Oh, Grammy, I have to tell you, um, I saw your outdoor kitchen. I'm telling you, or that little area you have. I love it, where you got your own little woman's cave and you do the cooking and j canning and, j and you won't heat up your house. Boy, do I love your little whatever, your outdoor second kitchen. Oh, I love it. I wish I had that. I wish I had a place where I could just take all my stuff and do it right out there and not heat up the house. But it is what it is. Let me see. These are kind of, he's cold enough. Not yet. I just get a couple more minutes and then I'm, I'm going to, I'll show you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pack the jars. It's still too hot. Let's see how many I can pack. I got a couple more boiling over here. Oh, you know what? Um, actually, yeah, this will be fine. I'm trying to think of keeping the jars warm because I got it. I'm going to do the brine in a minute, but I think I'll pack the jars and then I'll show you what the brine I'm talking about is because you only have to heat it up, dissolve the sugar, uh, let it do a, a little light boil, and then I can pour this on there. So I have, that's how, kind of like the potatoes. When the potatoes were done with water, this is done with a brine. Hey, hi. Hi, Rick.
Anyway, so I'm going to uh, pack these jars in a minute. And I can yap with you, and then I'll get the brine ready for it in a minute. Um, right, so you need at least... I gotta say a quarter of an inch to the top, half inch to a quarter of an inch. You need that space for it. Uh, by the way, I also did another thing besides scrubbing it with soap and water and boiling it. I always, you kind of check for cracks, but so it doesn't explode in your pan when you go to cook it. So now I'm just gonna put a whole bunch in here as much as I can pack in each one. That's kind of the trick. Just keep taking it. Packing them in. Yeah, the savings. No, I'm going to actually have, well, I'm not saving any of this because, you know, pickling takes, you're not supposed to eat it for a good few weeks easily because that's the whole point of pickling. You got to let it sit. But um, I have some asparagus I'm saving for supper because I'm going to have a, a Mexican, uh, a Mexican chicken recipe. Plus, I'm going to add uh, steamed asparagus to it. Oh, that looks good. I'm packing it as tight as I can get it without going over the top here. It's kind of tight too, let's see. And I like, I don't like wasting these, so I put them this up top like that because I like the look of them and I don't want them all smashed at the bottom. So, hack away. If there's something you don't like, then just take it out of the way, which I did already. I took some out I didn't like because I should have did this several days ago but it is what it is didn't realize it was oh yeah this is pickled it's a really really good recipe that's why uh, i've been using this for years So unfortunately, this is going to take a couple minutes that I got to pack away this stuff. You want to put as much as you can and as tight as you can. All right, that's going to go under my chair. This is the pain and the butt part, but it is what it is. I can say that a lot. It is what it is. All right, get this in. There, I think that's pretty packed. It's pretty tight. See, I don't like that one. So if I don't like it, it's getting get out of the way. I'm not keeping you. Whoa. Sorry about that. I'm gonna get rid of these two. I like to put some of the spearheads on top of them in each jar. I don't want to pack them in just one jar. I put them in like assorted jars. Put a few in here. And of course, it's going to take a couple little time. I can't help that. It, the packing is probably one of the longest things to do. And I do have to keep the brine up. Then I can have a break and stop and chat for a couple minutes. Oh, all right.
you know. This is a double batch, and it, depending on the size, how many jars you get, I can't, like, I am no expert on, well, that, I shouldn't, uh, the word I want to use is, I can't tell how many these are going to do. I roughly wrote notes last year that I did seven jars with one batch. Now, this is two batches, and I'm not even done seven jars yet, so it's going to depend on the size of the, the spears, the asparagus spears, is what it tells me. So let's see how many I can get done, and I might have to change this to a single batch. I was set for a a double batch of this, but it looks like I'm not going to have enough for a double batch. So I'm not going to do that much brine. I'll just be wasting it. So I'm going to cut that down and show you what's in the brine after. Hey, Fairy, good morning. Hey, good morning. Good to see you, honey. Thanks for coming. Make sure I want the quarter inch space. See, we're at one, two, three, four, five, six. I don't even know if I'll get seven. And that was a double amount of asparagus. So I am definitely cutting down. Uh, my brim was designed for two batches, but I am not doing two batches. I'll be wasting too much. So, see, you need to really stuff them in. That's just the way that it is. The way it cooks, it'll overcook if you don't put enough in there. So they, you got to stuff them in. And guess what, ladies and gentlemen? One, two, three, four, five, six. I'm only doing six jars today because that is all I have room for. So I'm going to stop this in, making sure. All right. Yeah, that surprises me, but that's all it is. Only enough for six jars, and that was two things of asparagus. But it is what it is. Okay, so now I'm going to pull that out of the way and make the brine over here. I'm going to shove these jars down here for now. All right. Shut that off. I got the water still boiling because I'm going to do these lids and everything after um all right so the brine i'm going to do in this pan and i'm going to cut the batch in half because i did it for a double so i'm going to have to remeasure everything in front of you but you're going to get the, the measurements as i do it all right so you're going to take one and two thirds right here one and two thirds vinegar now i'm pretty sure this should be enough if not i'll make another batch but i just don't like waste so there's white vinegar right here. You can see it. One and two thirds cup of white vinegar. Then you're going to take two thirds, two thirds cup sugar. That's a one third. I got to get another. There it is. All right, so you need, uh, like I said, I'll repeat it all over and over. One and two thirds cups of white vinegar, two thirds cups of sugar. You need a, a teaspoon of coarse salt, which is this, which I'm going to take. This is a half teaspoon because I can't find my one full teaspoon. I'm going to take that one. All right, and two. And I know you guys are talking to each other. So good morning. Good morning. Everybody's welcoming each other. Thank you for uh, doing that. All right. I'm just going to put it away again instead of uh, wasting time. I'll put my stuff away as I can. All right. So then now we are going to add a teaspoon of mustard seed, which looks, that's mustard seed. I, like I said, I was doing a double batch, but I don't need that much. You can see it right here. It's right there. So I'm going to take one, two, which is a teaspoon, and uh, throw my mess back to my containers all right next we're going to need uh, this is a one and a half teaspoon uh, dill seed which comes like this like that um all right 
We both got to get the sauce fingers. All right, no problem. Okay, so this is, I need a teaspoon and a half. So one, two is one teaspoon and one half. Again, I'm just cleaning as I go, so I'm putting them back in the jar. I will repeat it again, all the stuff I put into it. Uh, right after I'm done doing this, and I'm going to put it on the stove to boil. So the next thing I need is I got to chop up a white onion. So um, let's get my onion somewhere. Uh, I got an onion right here, which it, I don't know if you, anybody has ever cooked with white onions. It's a very mild flavor. It's, it's very mild. That's why they want white onion, not yellow cooking onion. So it's right here. Now, that's, they come in a really big size, so sometimes I think it's almost too much in that recipe, um, but sometimes I cut it down. I use a little less than that. I need a knife here. All right. So, take all the peels. Now you're going to cut this into rings. Uh, I'll show you what, when I get this all done here. Let me get all the skin off and throw it in the garbage. Ooh, it's going to make me cry too. Cry like a baby. All right, I'm just going to dump this. I'll be right back with it. Right, so we're gonna go cut it just like this in rings. 